After the disastrous end to the 76ers season, Doc Rivers was asked, can Ben Simmons be the point guard on the championship team? He said he didn't know. Joel Embiid was asked about the turning point of the game. He said, without saying any names, when Ben Simmons passed that ball to Thibault. And it has everybody bashing Ben Simmons for his performance, especially in the fourth quarter. So the question becomes, how much is Ben Simmons holding back the 76ers? I'm going to start off with Jamar. I'll first off say Ben Simmons has been a great asset on one end of the floor. He's been a great defender. He's one of the best defenders in the league. But when it comes down to it, it's an offensive league. When it comes down to it in the last couple minutes, you got to get a bucket. And Ben Simmons, the way his game is without being able to take a jump shot and obviously not even take a layup or a dunk at this point because of his confidence, it's wasted space. So you'll see Joel Embiid in the post or somebody cutting to the basket. And Ben Simmons, the person who's guarding him, is also guarding whoever that is because they're, they're not actually guarding Ben Simmons because it's not a threat. So I think Ben Simmons definitely is more of a liability to the 76ers when it's the postseason because when it's the postseason – there's nothing for Ben Simmons to really do on the off- offensive side of the ball. In the regular season, obviously, teams kind of let him do what he does. We kind of we kind of saw it with Giannis Antetokounmpo a couple years ago. You kind of have to figure out a way to to truly be competitive and put yourself in the, like like Ben Simmons isn't putting in any effort on the offensive side of the ball. He's kind of just saying, you know what, I'm not going to be able to score. I'm gonna pass the ball. I'm gonna get 13 assists. I'm gonna play defense but I have no value. And that, that was cool about 15 years ago in the league. And that was also cool when you weren't picked number one. And so I think Ben Simmons is a great player as a role player right now, as a great defender. But these days, even the great role players that are defenders also shoot the three ball. So something has to, something has to happen. I think Ben Simmons really just needs to go somewhere else where he can feel confident where there's too many fans in Philly. So it's it just not going to work. That's all I got. <laughs> Great point, Jamar. He does a lot defensively, but when it comes to offense, he's just not able to show up. Um, and so as far as Doc trying to, you know, or Doc being asked the question, can he lead a team to a championship? It depends on how much he's able to grow. Can he grow as an NBA player? Absolutely. Will he? That's the other question to that. We don't know if he will or not. And so I think to lead any team to a championship, He's going to have to grow offensively um, on that side of the ball, especially in the postseason. Um, and so who knows? Maybe him being a point guard is just not the thing for him. Maybe he needs to play a different position. Um, and another side to that is maybe that process of Ben Simmons' growth just can't be trusted in Philadelphia. Like Jamar said, he may just need to be in a different system where he can flourish. And I'll, I'll piggyback on Mia real quick before you go, Darian. And I think yeah. the biggest thing when it comes to this Ben Simmons thing is when they picked him number one, it wasn't you're going to come here and be great immediately. It was like once you develop all these things, you're the next LeBron James. And once you hit, you know, you, you have the max contract, you're getting all this money, you're almost in the finals. That potential no longer means anything. And I think we saw that with Sixers fans this weekend. It was we love you so much and we have so much belief in you because you have all this potential, but eventually that day is going to come where that potential doesn't mean anything. And Ben Simmons is going to have to make a decision if he's going to live off that potential or if he's going to actually make something of something of it. Yeah. Can Ben Simmons lead a team to a championship? No. And I don't think that's in his future either. Um, yes, it's all questionable, but I don't think that he can lead a team. However, can he be the point guard on the team? Yes, I think he can, as long as you add a great forward in Philadelphia. Because you look at him, we've never praised Ben Simmons for his scoring ability. We never have. And you you look at what I said about Milwaukee. Yes, they end up beating the Nets, but I think that's because they were extremely hobbled. So I'm going to erase that take, but I'm going to bring the point back. It's hard to win a championship where one of your two top players cannot score. So if Ben Simmons is your third player on the team, I think so, because you look at him. What do we love Ben Simmons for? His ability to facilitate and defend, and he did that. Trey Young had a terrible shooting night in Game 7. He dropped 13 assists in Game 7, but the fact that he could not score was extremely more – it was magnified even more because that's what you need to win. And when you can't score, if that's your one deficiency, it's just – 
elevated to a whole and it's unacceptable in your top two players. That's what you need out of Ben Simmons. So it, it brings me to the question, though. So much has been discussed with Ben Simmons. But is it Ben Simmons or Doc Rivers that deserves more blame and criticism for game seven? We'll go back to you, Jamar. I think something I've been telling people all the time is if Ben Simmons didn't make that spin move and then pass it to Thibault at that point in the game and everybody saying it's the turning point, if that didn't happen, what would we be, what would we be talking about? Would we be talking about Ben Simmons or would it be Doc Rivers? And I really do think it'd be Doc Rivers. I mean, Doc Rivers, let's not forget, last year blew it. And this year he blew it again. They, they've literally blown leads all series. And so I think, yes, Ben Simmons need to work on some things. I think Ben Simmons and that play was more of like, built up emotion of holding it back for all these people in the NBA because of all this potential. And it's like, all right, I'm done. You, you, you're you just trash. I think that's what that was in a response. And it kind of just covered over the whole thing of the whole situation. Doc Rivers needs to be able to coach a team to the finals, not just in the Celtics uniform, but now because you've had chances, you've had great players. You have Joel B, Ben Simmons, even though he can't shoot a great player, he has to figure it out and he's blown leads. It's not like, yo, the, the team isn't good. The team is good enough. The Nets aren't even in the playoffs anymore. The opportunity was now, and he blew it. So, yes, I think I think Doc Rivers might get fired this year or he might get fired next year if he doesn't make something happen. I think, yeah, Doc has a lot of um, things to answer for in regards to why they didn't make it out of Game 7. Um, and a lot of it has to do with just rotating. Um, and if you see your star or your lead point guard is becoming a liability, then obviously you need to make some adjustments in that regard. And that's just something he failed to do. And so that's going to always hang over his head just because of his game seven record period. Um, It's time that we have a discussion about Doc Rivers not being able to coach in certain aspects um, when it comes to games like this. And so, yeah, he does hold a lot of the blame there. 